Hello everyone, many people are frying peanuts, they are all fried directly in the oil pan, actually that's wrong, the peanuts fried like that are very easy to burn, let me share one with you today, the most correct way to fry peanuts, first we prepare 500 grams of peanuts and put them into a large bowl, then pick out the bad peanuts, pick out the green and moldy peanuts inside, such peanuts not only affect the taste, and eating it is harmful to the body, pick out all the bad peanuts, then we add an appropriate amount of water into it, you can add a little more water to cover the peanuts, then grab it evenly with your hands, let the peanuts fully absorb water, then add a spoonful of white vinegar to it, adding white vinegar can make peanuts taste neither dry nor astringent, simply wash the peanuts with your hands like this, after cleaning, drain the peanuts, then pour the peanuts on the bamboo curtain, use chopsticks to spread it evenly, after spreading evenly, then put it in a ventilated and cool place to dry. Dry the peanuts. If you don't want to wait and are in a hurry, you can also use a hair dryer or electric fan. Blow dry it. So when we are frying peanuts, it won't peel off easily. Finally like this. It's okay if the moisture on the surface is completely dry. Next, pour a little more rapeseed oil into the pan, because rapeseed oil has a higher smoke point, more suitable for high temperature frying. Then pour in the peanuts. Pay attention here, when we fry peanuts, we must put the oil in the pot cold, never wait for the oil to heat up before adding it to the pan, in that case, the outside of the peanuts will be easier to burn, and it's not cooked yet inside, after the peanuts are put in the pot, we turn on medium heat and fry them slowly, during the frying process, stir constantly with a shovel, make peanuts heat more evenly, let's start by frying slowly over medium heat for about 2 minutes, you have to be patient when frying peanuts, do not worry, this way the fried peanuts will not turn black and become mushy, fry the peanuts until they make a crackling sound, color slightly redder, at this time, we will continue to fry for another 2 minutes, turn off the heat after 2 minutes, use the residual heat in the pot to soak for another 5 minutes, doing this will make the peanuts fried more thoroughly, it tastes equally crispy inside and out, and peanuts soaked in oil, the surface is very beautiful. After soaking for 5 minutes, we turn on medium low heat and fry for another 2 minutes. Fry until like this. It's almost done if the peanuts are slightly red. Then remove the oil and put it into a large bowl. Then add a spoonful of strong white wine into it. This will keep peanuts longer. Even if you leave it for a month, it won't soften. It still tastes crunchy and crunchy. And freshly fried peanuts. Be sure to stir it with chopsticks. This way the peanuts will cool faster. Many friends don't know. Freshly fried peanuts are salted first. Let it cool down before adding salt. If the peanuts are freshly fried, add salt first. Then the salt will melt when it encounters heat. There is no salt visible on the surface of the peanuts. If you let it cool before adding salt, then the salt will not stick to the surface of the peanuts. So the peanuts we just fried, stir with chopsticks for 2 minutes. Then sprinkle with salt. This is just right. The salt will not melt away. The dishes will also look better. Don't put too much salt either. Too much salt will make it very salty. Then use chopsticks to stir evenly. Peanuts fried like this. Extra crispy and delicious. Whether it's with wine or as a snack. It's very delicious. Have you learned the tips for frying peanuts? If you also like, hurry and collect it and give it a try. I will update different food videos every day. Follow me if you like my videos. Thank you for your support. Hello everyone, don't just eat spinach stir-fried or eaten cold, let me share one with you today. Very delicious recipe. The method is very simple. First prepare a handful of spinach, cut off the roots, then put it in clean water and wash it a few more times. Clean. After we cut off the roots, spinach is easier to clean. After cleaning, control the moisture, then cut into small pieces. After cutting, put it in the vegetable basket and set aside. Prepare another peeled carrot. Cut into thick slices first. Then change the knife and cut into thick thin strips. After cutting, put it on a plate and set aside. Prepare a handful of washed green onions. Chopped green onion. After cutting, place in a bowl and set aside. Next, pour water into the pot. The fire is boiling. After the water boils, add shredded carrots and blanch the water. It doesn't take too long to blanch it. Just boil the shredded carrots until soft. Take the carrot shreds out after they become soft. Control dry moisture. Put into a larger bowl. Then spread it flat with chopsticks and let it cool. It will cool down faster this way. 
Then add the spinach to the pot and blanch it in water. The oxalic acid content in spinach is relatively high, so when we use spinach to make delicacies, you need to blanch it in water. It doesn't take too long to blanch. It can be fished out in about 20 seconds, then put it with carrots. Then use chopsticks to spread it out and let it cool. Next prepare a small bowl, beat in two eggs, then use chopsticks to break up the eggs and mix evenly. After stirring evenly, then slowly pour the egg liquid into the spinach. Then use chopsticks to stir evenly. Make carrots and spinach. Coat it thoroughly with egg wash. After stirring well, add the chopped green onions. Add a pinch of salt, just the right amount of pepper, a little bit of 13 incense. Then continue to stir evenly. Make all ingredients delicious. After mixing, add a tablespoon of flour. Then continue to stir evenly. Coat all ingredients with flour. Stir until like this. No dry flour is left. Prepare two more tofu skins. Scald it with boiling water. Boiling water can remove the beanie smell, and it tastes better. Then control the moisture. Spread it out on the cutting board. Then put the mixed spinach on top of the tofu skin. Then use chopsticks to spread it evenly. Try to spread it as thinly and evenly as possible. After laying it out, roll it up from one end. When rolling, press and roll at the same time. Roll it tighter. Roll it tighter. It won't fall apart easily when cut. And it tastes better. Just like this. A tofu roll is ready. After everything is done, put directly into the steamer. Then close the lid. Steam over high heat for 5 minutes. Let's take this time to prepare a sauce. Prepare a few cloves of garlic. Minced garlic. Prepare 2 more millet peppers. Cut into millet pepper rings. Cut it and put it into a small bowl. Add the chopped green onions as well. Appropriate amount of white sesame seeds. Then pour hot oil on it. Stimulate fragrance. Add a pinch of salt. A spoonful of chicken essence. A spoonful of sugar. Add two more spoons of light soy sauce. A spoonful of aged vinegar or balsamic vinegar. Then continue to stir evenly. Our sauce is ready. Set aside for later use. At this time our spinach rolls have been steamed. Let it cool slightly before taking it out. Then put it on the cutting board. Cut it open. We can cut it thicker. Don't cut it too thin. Just cut it into small pieces of about 2 centimeters. Just cut it into small pieces like this. Looks very appetizing. After cutting, place on a plate. A very nutritious dish. Delicious spinach rolls are ready. It tastes very fresh and tender. Low fat and nutritious. Friends who are afraid of fat. You can also eat more. Spinach rolls like this. Children who don't like to eat vegetables also love them very much. Pair it with the sauce we prepared. It really smells so good. Let's have a plate like this during the Chinese New Year and holidays, meaning the icing on the cake. Its color is also very beautiful, look like flowers. It's also very face-saving to use it to entertain guests. If you also like, hurry and collect it and give it a try.